Cancer is not a modern disease. References to cancer can be found in ancient Egyptian and Greek medical texts. The Edwin Smith Papyrus, an ancient Egyptian medical document dating back to around 3000 BCE, describes cases that are believed to be cancer. Cancer cells in everyone. It's normal to have some cancer cells in the body. The immune system usually identifies and eliminates these cells before they can develop into a full-blown cancer. The presence of such cells doesn't necessarily mean a person will get cancer. Carcinogens can be found in various everyday substances, including certain foods, household products, and environmental pollutants. For example, grilled meats can produce carcinogenic compounds, and tobacco smoke is a well-known source of carcinogens. Certain processed meats, like bacon, sausages, and hot dogs, have been classified as Group 1 carcinogens by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, IARC. They are linked to an increased risk of colorectal cancer. HPV, human papillomavirus, is a sexually transmitted infection that is a leading cause of cervical cancer. However, it's not limited to cervical cancer. HPV is also linked to other cancers, including those of the throat, anus, and genitals. Alcohol and acetaldehyde. When the body metabolizes alcohol, it produces acetaldehyde, a known carcinogen. Chronic alcohol consumption can increase the risk of developing various cancers. Acetaldehyde is a colorless liquid with a pungent, fruity odor. It's a chemical compound with the formula CH3CHO and is considered the simplest aldehyde. Some studies suggest that dogs have the ability to detect certain types of cancer through their keen sense of smell. Trained dogs have demonstrated high accuracy in identifying cancerous tissues by sniffing urine, breath, or skin samples, leading to ongoing research on using dogs in cancer detection. In some cancer research studies, human cancer cells are transplanted into mice to create animal models for studying the disease. These mice are known as xenograft models, helping researchers understand human cancer behavior. Cancer risk increases with age. While it can occur at any age, the majority of cancer diagnoses and deaths occur in people aged 65 and older. The aging process and cumulative exposure to environmental factors may contribute to this correlation. Cancer cells have the ability to metastasize, spreading to different parts of the body. This makes cancer particularly challenging to treat as it can affect multiple organs and systems. Pregnancy can sometimes induce the regression of certain cancers. The phenomenon, known as the pregnancy effect, has been observed in some women with melanoma, breast cancer, and other types. While some cancers are caused by environmental factors, others have a strong genetic component. Certain genetic mutations can significantly increase the risk of developing specific types of cancer. Genetic counseling and testing can help identify individuals at higher risk. While these facts highlight the diverse and intricate nature of cancer, it's essential to emphasize ongoing research and advancements in cancer prevention, diagnosis, and treatment. Scientists and medical professionals worldwide are tirelessly working to unravel the complexities of cancer, aiming for breakthroughs that will lead to more effective therapies and, ultimately, improved outcomes for patients. Understanding these unusual aspects of cancer contributes to the broader effort to combat this formidable adversary and brings hope for a future with better cancer management and prevention strategies.